Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. In this installment of the Build, the T800 Terminator from Agora Models, I am bringing you pack number 11. Wow, I'm almost done with him and it's a fantastic build. If you have not done so already, head over to Agora Models and subscribe to this build today. It's a lot of fun. It's truly impressive. I mean, half scale, he's huge and he's going to be awesome. This kit also does come with a lighted base, so that's going to be even cooler. So, pack 11, we do a lot in pack 11, so I decided to make this video in two parts. This is part one, and I'll be building stages 101 to 105. So, without further ado, let's get started. Plasma rifle in the 40 watt range. Uzi 9 millimeter. I'll be back. Let's look at the magazine for pack 11 for the Terminator build the T800 in half scale. 10 stages did arrive. Stage 101 through stage 110. Now this video is just going to comprise of stage 101 through 105. I'm just going to do five stages here because there's a lot to do here and I want to spare you with a very long video. So before we move, move forward, I want to show you what's comprised of with the magazine here. Now of course we have all the build instructions all the way up to 110, but what are the articles in the back? And, and right away, you can see we have an article here on the Forbidden Planet. Now, the Forbidden Planet is one of my favorite classic science fiction movies. And it's wonderful to see an article here about that. So we get three pages worth of information about that movie. And one of my favorite characters, of course, is Robbie the Robot. So, Next, we have an article here on Observing the Universe, the Most Advanced Telescopes, Part 1. And uh, I've driven by those telescope array here, the uh, wide array, the very large wide array telescopes. Out there near Socorro, New Mexico, I've been by them many times. The article here is pretty cool. It actually uh, describes a little bit about Arecibo Telescope in Puerto Rico. And if you don't know, uh, I did do a video on my visit to Arecibo when I was in Puerto Rico working. And I believe it wasn't long before they actually tore it down. They incurred a lot of structural damage during one of the last hurricanes that came through the island and it's no longer no longer a telescope there and it's sad sad to say but I did make a video about my visit to Arecibo I'll put a link in the description below and you can check that out moving forward we also have observing the uniforce the most advanced telescopes part two so they do talk about the telescopes that are up in space like the Hubble telescope so let me go ahead and get the parts and we'll look at everything that came as far as the first five packs that's going to be featured in this video. This is part one of pack 11. And this is just to give you an idea what arrived in a very large box for pack 11. These are the first five stages 101, 102, 103, 104, and 105. So you can see everything is is uh, hidden away in these brown boxes. So give me a second, I'll take these out of the boxes and we'll get a closer look. So for 101, here's the parts for that. This is where we're gonna attach the left foot and begin construction on the chest. 102 is we'll detail the head and add panels and springs to the chest. Stage 103, affix the chest assembly and attach spring tube details. Let's look at the last two. For stage 104, 
glue the chest supports into place and assemble and affix the large back panel. And stage 105, fit back panel details and attach shoulder connectors. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on stage 101. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 101. Stage 101, I attach the left foot and begin construction on the chest. Here's the parts that are included. A little more there. And this time we go ahead and attach the foot to the left leg. Pretty easy process here. Then we start working on the chest attachments. See how that all looks there. And that's all we do there. Let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Here's the parts for 101. I'll take these out of the bags and I'll be right back. And here's a close-up of those parts. Everything here is plastic. And these are all the chest pieces here that we're going to be using to assemble. But very, very nicely plated. That's what that looks like. And that side right there. Okay, let's get rolling. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and add the foot to the leg here and in preparation for that we're going to go ahead and add these tendons here to the muscles and remember that the ones with the grommets go on the, the outside here both outside ones and then the larger one does not have a grommet on it so it's just going to insert into there now we're going to take our foot here and you'll notice there's a flat edge that's going to line up with the flat edge that's inside of there I've already looked at it you got a hole here alignment hole and an alignment hole there. So we're going to insert that in. The screw they call for is a PB 1.7 by 6 millimeter screw and you can see it's a small one. Screw is in. I can turn this a little bit. And we'll attach the tendons perfect we can take and turn the foot around and that's what that looks like perfect looks good now let's move on to assembling the chest pieces next I'm going to assemble the two chest socket pieces and these will get firmly pressed into place on the sockets. There's one. And two. Bring over the shorter ones. Do those the same way. one and all four are done there now we'll bring over the corner of the chest piece and we're going to install the shorter one here and the longer one there they want us to put a little super glue on the rim in there so Super glue is going to go just on the rim here. And we'll insert the longer one first. There's that. And the shorter one. Perfect. 
that's what that looks like there. We have to do the same thing with it. And there you have it. That completes stage 101. Let's head over and start on stage 102. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 102. Stage 102, I detail the head and add panels and springs to the chest. Here's the parts we received with this stage. And we'll continue with the assembly of the chest. We're going to be doing some glue in here again. And that's all, the, all that will look after everything is glued. And uh, that's what that looks like there. We'll also start adding those springs through the middle of the chest piece. Then we'll secure those springs with a big washer and a screw. I'm gonna cut away some details for the head and attach those to the head. I'm gonna add some super glue to those attachments, both sides. And that's all we do with that stage. Let me get the parts and I will be right back. Here's the parts for 102. I'll take these out of the bag and we'll get a closer look. And here's a close up of those parts. Here's the large chest piece. This is made of plastic. Very cool there. Very nicely plated. The springs, we have a larger spring here and a smaller spring. We have the head pieces that are plastic and they're on the sprue there, sprue tree, washer, and the screws. Let's get started. Okay, so we'll, we'll grab our chest piece here and we're going to work on the left side here first. And that's going to be on this side. And you'll see that the chest piece that we had uh, glued those rods onto has an L for the left. And that's going to insert on the back side here. Just like that. And you can see how that all looks. And when it goes in a certain way, and we're going to super glue it so it looks like that. So I'm going to run, run a bead of super glue along this edge. Now we're going to glue this together very carefully. Just like that. Kind of added it to the top first. Next I put the springs through the chest plate and they'll actually go through these slots here all the way through. You have a large slot and a smaller slot. So we'll turn that over and we'll throw the larger spring through this.
and they need to be even. Also put the smaller one through the top portion there. And we just make sure that they are evenly through. I'm just going to take my tape measure and look at it here just real quick. Okay, so just pull it through just a little bit more. So it's about six inches and in six and an eighth on each side. Going to put our washer and screw on this. And we'll tighten this down to lock everything in. And that should hold the springs in place. That's what that looks like there. Let's go ahead and move on to assembling some components on the head. First thing you have to do is I have to cut these off the tree. There you go and these will get glued to the head okay I brought over the head and uh, we're gonna put these little parts on the head you want to make sure it you got the part here it's facing towards the rear it's gonna go into that slot just like that but we need to super glue it and insert it into the slot Just like that. Turn them over. We're going to do the other side. And into the slot. Perfect. We'll let that dry. And that's all we do with stage 102. Fantastic here. We worked on the head just a little bit. And of course the chest plate here looks very nice. So let's head over and get started on stage 103. Let's look at the build instructions for stage 103. Stage 103 I start to affix the chest assembly and attach the spring tube details. Here's the parts we received with this. Looks like the back panel for the chest and some other parts. And we start adding parts to the chest detail, the back panel and such. A lot to do here. And then we're going to get that prepped to put on the terminator. Put some screws into it. And we work on those springs that are going to go on the head that we just glued those parts on. And onto the shoulder. 
once they are attached to both sides we're going to take our allen key and fix the ends of the shafts onto the shoulders both sides and that will complete this stage let me get the parts and I'll be right back here's parts pack for 103 let me take these out we'll get a closer look let me take this out of the bag and we'll get a closer look and here's a close-up of those parts here's the back of the chest piece made of plastic very nice there another part of the chest piece also made of plastic we have those rod ends uh, another part of the chest piece there a couple of rubber grommets a new allen key this one's larger than the one received before we have some uh, hex head bolts looks like five and some screws let's get rolling next we're going to insert this chest piece onto this and it goes just like that we have to insert it from the inside first so I'll turn this over and we'll take this chest piece and insert it through and it's going to go into those slots right there just like that so it does rotate a little we're going to take our bracket that locks it down and we're going to put that on top there that is two two by six millimeter PB screws go into this and that's tight there and that's how that looks turn it over and that's how that looks it does rotate very good now we need to bring over the terminator to do the next step next we're going to put in these rubber grommets into these two portions right here and they're both in you can see that right there bring over the chest piece turn this over these two these two slots we're going to go right into that press that down in place it's all good looks great now I need to turn it over we're going to put a few screws on the back side here to hold this metal plate in place just see where it goes in at right there and on the other side the screw goes in right here this is a PB 2x6 and that's good right there you can just see it right there and PB 2x8 goes in here that's good and the 2x6 was put in right here and the 2x8 put in right there next we hook up these pipes the larger one is going to go right here on that it's going to get put down on that we need to put some super glue on it first and just we might have to turn it here to get it to go down there we go that looks great and then move the head over and we have another one that will go right here where we just 
install that and this will go just like that. Once again, some more super glue. And we'll twist it as it goes on. There we go. Perfect. And that's how they both look. I'll do the other side and I'll be right back. And here they are, all four installed. Right there and right there. Looks great. Next we're going to install these pistons. And they're obviously going to go right down on there. But make sure I have the right ones in the right place here. And we'll give you a closer view. Okay, so we'll do the bottom one first and I'm going to insert it in there. We'll put in the hex screw and you just want to screw them in until it's tight, but they don't go in all the way because you still need to have some movement here. So that's how they work there. Next one. That one goes on there. Hex screw into this or X bolt and that's tight enough and we have some movement I'll do the other side and I'll be right back and that's all we do with stage 103 we did have one leftover part here that's going to be installed a little bit later but got everything installed all the pipes the front chest arm armor plate, um, the shocks, mounts, and it looks fantastic. Sorry it's upside down here, but uh, that's just the way it worked out on my bench and easier for me to work on it closer to me than the opposite, obviously. So with that, that does complete 103. Let's head over and get started on 104. Let's continue this build with stage 104. For stage 104, I glue the chest supports into place and assemble and affix a large back panel. Here's the uh, parts we received with this stage. Here's a listing of those parts. Start working on that back panel. That's how that looks there. Be using some super glue for this and some screws. That's what that looks like there. And we'll figure this out as we go. This is all new to me. A lot involved here. And moving on with that, more screws, and finally complete with 104. Let me get the parts and I'll be right back. Here's the parts for stage 104. All right, let me uh, take these all out of the bag and we'll get a closer look. Here's a close-up of all those parts. These parts are all plastic and they look very nice there. They are marked with a R and an L. There and there. So it's uh, very smart of Agora to pack these away in boxes like this. They definitely protect the parts. Let's get started. We're going to go ahead and work on the back plate first. We'll turn this over and we'll be working on the left side here first. And we'll bring over this panel here. It is made for the left side. It has a big L right there. And it's basically just going to mount right here. There is a keyway right there. It's going to mount to that. And we're going to line up everything with that.
There we go. That's how that looks there. Now they want us to put a PB 2x4 screw into this. Uh, the PB 2x4 is the smaller screw, but it has the wider threads for plastic. And put that in right there. Just like that. That's good. And that's how that looks there. Bring over the other panel. It's marked with an R. And it's going to line up. Just like that. We'll put the other screw in. PB 2x4. And that's good. That is good. That's what that looks like. All right, move on to the next step. Next, we'll grab these parts here. We're going to put some super glue on the end of them. And they're going to get mounted right in there on the front of the plate. Just to make sure that they're straight, which they look straight there. Perfect. Bring over these next two parts, and you can see there's a notch on the bottom on this end, no notch on that end. Where the notch is, we're gonna put that on the little ball there, snap it in. Perfect. And that's what they look like. And I'm going to bring over the backing plate. And they're going to go in right here and right here. Just need to match them up to the socket. There you go. And just press fits in. Same with the other side. And that's good there. And that's what they look like. Next, I'll bring over the Terminator and lay it on its back. We're going to install this, these panels underneath his chest plate, one on each side. It is marked with an R and an L. Okay. So we need to put some super glue on this. Right there. And we're going to slide it into two notches that are underneath. Just like that. Perfect. Do the other side. Perfect. That's how that looks there. I need to hook these back up. Perfect. Okay. Those panels are on. Now I need to turn him over. Bring over the plate and we're going to put the plate on. Just like that. It's very cool how everything goes together here, how everything's engineered. I'm very impressed. Everything goes together on the sides. Everything looks snug there. That's great. We're going to put in four PB 2x6 screws in, in this area. And here's the 2x6 screw. It's kind of small but longer than the other. And the last one. Good there. Good there. And good there. 
Next we put in two PM 2x4 two screws. We put one in right here and one over there. There we go. That looks good. And that's all we do with stage 104. Let's head over and do the final stage for this video, stage 105. I'll be right back. Let's look at stage 105, which is the final stage for this video. This is Remember, this is part one for pack 11. So for 105, I fit the back panel detail and attach shoulder connectors. And there's the back panel detail and the shoulder connectors. And we'll put that back panel on. Start working on the shoulder connectors. We have a short one and a long one. Moving on with that, be putting in those special bolts, those hex screw bolts. Getting those all in place. So I'll show you one side, but the other side would be exactly the same. Let me get the parts and I will be right back. Here's the parts. Let me take these out and I'll be right back. And here's the parts. Everything is plastic. Looks good. Notice there's a difference between these two connectors and the hex bolts. Let's get started. First thing I'll do is I'll install this plate here on the back. It's just a press fit. And that's how that looks. Looks great. And we're going to be adding these connectors on the shoulders. And notice the difference in the ends. One shorter than the other. So right above that panel, we're going to install this connector right here. And it's going to go on just like that. We're going to put our hex screw into it. So a little pro tip for you. I know it's a hex head end on it. You're supposed to use the wrench, but it's hard to get the wrench in there. You can go ahead and screw it down with your screwdriver. But when it comes time to tightening it, then you can use your hex wrench to tighten it. So that will move it along a lot faster. That's good there. Going to put our rod end in. And that's going to go over there on the end. Put our hex screw into that. And like, like the others, it's not going to be tight on there. It's going to be tight installed, but not on against the rod end. You need some looseness there. And we'll do the same on the other side. That's what that looks like. I'll be right. So the other side is done. And that's how they look. Looks great. You want to make sure that your things back here are not caught underneath the, the plate there. Now I need to turn him over to do the other side. Now on the other side we're going to put it right here and right there. That's going to go just like that. Put the hex screw into that. Okay, That's good there. Put that shaft in there. That goes down just on top of that. Another hex screw into there. That's good there. Okay, I'll do the other side. I'll be right back. And there's the other side completed. That's how that looks. Looks great. That's all we do with stage 105. I'll be right back. 
And there you have it. That completes part one of pack 11. I completed the first five stages, stages 101 to 105, and uh, wow, assembled a lot in just those first five stages, and that's why I split it up into two parts, so that way the video is not too long. But anyway, it was a blast doing this. A lot of super glue was used in this, and a lot of things were assembled. So if you think you would like to build this, head over to Agora Models and subscribe to the Terminator today. It's fantastic and very impressive. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for all video upload notifications. And please, give me a thumbs up. Every thumbs up helps. It helps get the, me out there for all the algorithms and gets my channel noticed. With that, happy modeling everybody and take care.